Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of the cat lady. So we are almost by the I have Adam as I know. <laughs> See he was walking right at me. That was not what I expected. You're you're the eye of Adam? A pathetic, wheelchair-bound invalid? Is this a joke? Do you... Do you know who I am? Do you know what you've done to me? You fucking murderer! Tonight it's your turn to die. I'm gonna paint this room with your brains and I'm gonna watch and smile. I swear to God I'll do it. Well, nothing to say, nothing at all. Aren't you going to beg for your sad little life? Say something, anything. Mitzi, where did you get that gun from? It doesn't matter. Please, Mrs. A, this is something I have to do. You are free to leave if you want. You don't have to be a part of it. Just try to understand. Beg for forgiveness, you scum. What the fuck is wrong with you? You don't believe I'm gonna shoot you, do you? Oh, I've dreamt of this moment for so long. Look at this man, Mitzi. He hasn't twitched a muscle since we entered the room. I think he's paralyzed. That's impossible. He's lying to us. He's faking it. Do something. Talk for God's sake. I need you to answer me. I need to know. He won't answer you. He can't talk. Then how did he post all that stuff online? What the? Well, that's a way to do it. How... How did he do it? I think I know how. See that little device on his left eye? I've heard about these. It's a controller. It seems the only part of his body he can move is his eyeball. Controller connected to the computer tracks its movement, allowing him to... What? That's ridiculous. How do you even know such things? I'm a nurse? I've seen these before. Well, I've seen eye-controlled wheelchairs, but there's no reason why it wouldn't work with a computer. Jesus. That would explain the whole Eye of Adam thing. He really is just the eye. But... No. That doesn't change anything. He must die. He deserves nothing more. What? You arrogant shit! I will fucking do it! Just tell me one thing. One thing. Why? Why did you make Jack kill himself? So... This will take... Um... It'll be a pleasure. Ready to die, scumbag? Look at these oxygen tanks. I don't think it's a good idea. What? Why not? 
I'm the one holding a gun here. And I will blow this bastard's brain out as soon as he looks at me. You hear me? Um... Look at me. I want you to see what you've done. The pain you've caused me. Mitzi, that's not what I meant. Just put the gun down for a second. No! No. I can't do that, Mrs. A. I'm sorry. This is something I have to do. I have to. Can't you hear that hissing sound? These cylinders are clearly leaking gas. Please stay out of it. You'll make a whole room blow up. I don't care. Just leave me alone. You lied to me. You never said you wanted to kill him. Now, wasn't that quite obvious? What did you think I wanted to do? Have a coffee with him? Chat about the weather or, or politics? For God's sake, I'm here because this son of a bitch needs to die. If I don't kill him now, he'll just carry on and more innocent people will lose their lives. Do you really want that? Because I don't. This isn't the way to do it. Just turn these computers off instead. No! He doesn't deserve to live after what he's done. And who are you to serve justice like this? Do you really want to kill an unarmed, paralyzed man? Why are you doing this, Mrs. A? I thought you were my friend. That's exactly why I'm doing this? Even if we survive the explosion, how will you be able to live with yourself? I won't have very long to live with it. I'll manage just fine. Think about it for a second. Would Jack really want this? He... This bastard messed with Jack's head. He tricked him. That's what he does. He fucking tricked him. But would Jack really want you to become a murderer? No. He wouldn't. He wasn't violent at all. He was the kindest, sweetest guy I ever knew. Exactly. Now, put that gun down already. But what about me? No, I'll do it. I know Jack will forgive me. Without his father, he's harmless. He was the one who supplied him with all this technology. He fulfilled his every single wish. I know this guy's rotten bad. There's no excuse for what he did. But he will be punished for it. Trust me. They'll put him in some stinking nursing home. He'll live his life like a vegetable, stuck to bed. He'll have time to think about what he's done. And he'll never see a computer screen again. Isn't that enough? He said, do it. He wants to die and I want to kill him. He wants us all to die. Can't you see that? Isn't that what he's been preaching? A joint suicide. That's why he wants you to shoot him. So we can all get blown to pieces. His final act. The work of his life. Are you really going to give him that satisfaction? Remember what you said about feeding the troll? That's exactly what you're going to do if you kill him now. No. Maybe you're right. You should leave, Mrs. A. I'd never want you to get hurt. But I'm not going away without this fucker dead. Even if that means I die too. Mitzi, have you lost your mind? You're going to sacrifice your life for this scum? He's a parasite! A worthless, evil piece of shit! It's not like I've got anyone to live for, is it? What? What about your mother? Your family? She's dead! Yeah, I lied. I always lie. I grew up in an orphanage. My family never wanted to know me. The only person that cared about me was Jack. And he's dead! Yeah. Happy now? So 
So get the fuck out of here and let me do what I got to do. I care about you. Do it for me. Come on, mate. It's been a long day. Let's go home. We've won. Have we really? Trust me. I know we have. How? I'm the cat lady. From now on, I win every single day. Okay, we out of here. I don't see any reason to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Just It's me again talking about my ordinary little life as usual. I'm still surprised anyone would want to read this at all. The ramblings of a cat lady. Maybe I'm not a cat lady anymore. Things have changed here since Mitzi's death. I'll never forget those last few weeks. It's a horrible way to die. Stuck in a hospital bed with no hope and whole life to pass you by. Six months ago, I lost the best friend I'd ever had. But at least we knew it was coming. I had time to accept it, just like she did. And I can only be glad we spent that time together. I still miss her though, every day. Did I ever mention I got into all this because of her? I opened her laptop the night after the funeral, and there it was. A friend request, over a year old. A little gift from behind the grave. I met some people. We go out sometimes, and I'm not alone anymore. It turned out there were others who felt like I did. I talked to them tried to help. <sighs> it's not your fault, but that has to pass. Okay. So... Is that it? Then it leveled louder. We are all here for you to help. And now you. Oh. I'm writing this blog. Okay. I must confess, yesterday was bad. It was one of those days when you feel like you're back in the past, and all the good stuff that happened was just a dream. Oh, colorful world again. It's been a while. But I woke up today feeling better. Maybe I can never get rid of it. This invisible illness. Maybe it will always be living somewhere deep inside me. Asleep. Waiting. And when it'll hit me, it'll hit me hard. But if there's one thing Mitzi taught me, it's that you have to pick yourself up and carry on. It doesn't matter that life isn't fair. It doesn't matter that you make mistakes. You fall and rise again. Worlds full of liars, traitors, cowards. But every now and then, you meet someone like Mitzi, who will just smile at it all. Now, 
I've forgiven the world and myself too. I teach myself to smile again. One day I'll get there. I know I will. Even if it takes me not nine, but nine hundred lives. Okay, so that was it. <laughs> I take it as it is. So I'll just turn down the sound of the game a little so I can hear myself talk. That helps a lot when you have to talk. <laughs> so, well, that was um, the cat lady, apparently. Um, yeah. I was going blind into the game when I started playing it, so I didn't know anything about it, and I got requested it by Strawberry Reporian, I think it was, I said, in the first video. So... I'm a little confused about it, it's like... I had to kill some people in the beginning, and... But I chose my own path in the ending, and the only sort of story I had to complete was actually... Mitzis, I think? Because of the Eye of the Adam taking the choices of what to do there. And also defeat my inner demon thing. I, d I know. I'm still a little confused about the story. I think I will play it for myself once more uh, in time. So. But yeah. Uh, but game wise, a good game, actually. Um, I think it's an indie game. I'm not quite sure of it, but I'm pretty sure it will. Um, because of the quality of the game. It's not bad quality though, it's really good actually. Um, the only thing that could need some work maybe for, in my opinion, is um, um, not the, the voice acting, but um, the recording that they did. Uh, some of the voices sounded like they're sitting in a room with a lot of um, uh, echo and stuff like that. It's well, not the best sound recording, but the voice acting was fine. Um, that's the only thing I have with this game, actually, I think. Because that was uh, by the nurse at the hospital, the one that committed suicide. And also a little by Mitzi, but but mostly her in the hospital. I noticed that the sound uh, press any key to live. Oh, to leave. What the hell? It just closed out the game. Okay! <laughs> well, I checked that as the game is over, so... But yeah, as I said, the voice acting could use a little uh, work... Uh, not the voice acting, the sound edit... Um, the sound recording could use some little work there, but... Um, that's about it, I think, so... I hope you enjoyed this um, series. Um, you can... If it, the first video you have seen, you're stupid. Um, just go check the pl full playlist instead. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this um, video and this series. You can give it a thumb up if you like it. You can hit me up on Facebook and Twitter or write a comment by... The I'll try that again. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook and Twitter or write a comment down below and tell me what you think of it. You can subscribe for more awesome videos and I hope you all would have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. <laughs>